over 30 percent of pregnant women in this country are obese yeah. and the lack of information before they get pregnant before, before and during really? their, their pregnancy oh, yeah wow. and the lack of information on these medications these glp1 uh weight loss medications during pregnancy is a major gap because obesity and the complications of obesity drive up a lot of the maternal illness and mortality that we see in this country and yeah. by the way our rates of maternal mortality are three times yes. higher yes. than mm. other high-income countries. It's so this problem. is a major yes. gap. Mm -hmm. In this particular study, the researchers looked at 150,000 or so pregnancies. A few hundred of those women had been on these medications prior to pregnancy, and they looked to see what happened when you stopped. Mm -hmm. Because right now, the recommendation is you should not be on these medications yeah. during pregnancy. We, we just don't know the safety. And what they saw is when women stopped, they regained the weight quickly, mm -hmm. and then you saw a slight increase in risk and things like uh, gestational diabetes, um, blood, high blood pressure, preterm birth. Um, and so we really do need more information about whether women can continue these medications during pregnancy safely. So are they, are they saying if you take the medication before you're pregnant, should you stop X amount of months before you get pregnant? Well, right what now, are they saying? Yeah, right now the recommendation is stop two months before two because months. it takes some time for these mm -hmm. medications to wash out of your system. Mm -hmm. But given the complications that women suffer related to weight gain, if, especially if they're already obese, oh, yeah. uh, you know, we really need some more information, more research. And of course, pregnant women are always left out of so many yeah. clinical trials because people are afraid of what might happen to the baby. Of course. But here we may actually be putting those babies at higher risk by stopping the medications. And you should never take it during pregnancy, right? Did As of right now, no, because we yes. don't have the data. But we need the research.